Welcome again. Now in this lecture, we'll be talking about the ultrastructure of a plant cell. Okay, and the plant cell is different from the animal cell. First of all, let's have a look on the structure of a plant cell. This is a plant cell, as you can see. Now, as I talked before, that the first uh, visualized difference, very clear difference between the plant cell and the animal cell, is that the plant cell is very large compared to the animal cell. So the plant cells, they have relative much more uh, larger size than the animal cells. And if you remember that the plant cell, it has extra structures. For example, the cell wall, which is absent in the animal cells, okay, except some types of bacteria, they have a cell wall. And even those bacteria, they have a cell wall with a different composition than the cell wall of a plant cell. We have the plasmolysmata, which are openings in the cell wall and I, as I said before that they are for exchange of materials between two neighboring cells. We have the vacuole here, a large vacuole, although we have small uh, temporary vacuoles in the animal cells. However, the vacuoles of the plant cells are large and permanent. And also we have the chloroplast. Okay, now, so those are the uh, major structures that we will focus on them when talking about the ultrastructure of a plant cell. Let's start with the chloroplast. The chloroplast, it gives the plant its green color. So green plants, they appear green because of the presence of the chloroplast. And it's the chlorophyll, the molecule, the pigment found in the chloroplast responsible for reflecting the green color so we can see the plant green. And also the chloroplast is responsible for carrying out photosynthesis. And photosynthesis is when the plant produces its own food by combining uh, uh, water in addition to carbon dioxide producing glucose and oxygen. Now, let's have a look on the structure of the chloroplast. This is one chloroplast. The chloroplast, it has two membranes, outer and inner membrane. So it's one of the organelles that has what? An envelope. Every Organelle that has an envelope, we call uh, we call it, it has two membranes. Also, we have the interior medium of the chloroplast is called the stroma, and inside the stroma we have coins like structure. Those like coins, they are called the thylakoids. Every one coin structure is called a thylakoid. Okay, and the group of thylakoids they form a granule. So here we have several grana. And the granule is the group of thylakoids stacked on the top of each other. Now, those thylakoids, they contain those chlorophyll pigments, okay? So those chlorophyll pigments, they are on the surface, on the membrane of those thylakoids. And it's those chlorophyll pigments, they, they capture the sunlight in order to produce the glucose by photosynthesis. Now, uh, regarding the cell wall, we took before that the cell wall, it's made of cellulose, okay, and the cellulose is a polysaccharide, and we will talk about it more in the next section. The cell wall, it gives the plant its shape, it determines the shape of the plant, and it's responsible for strength and support. It supports the plant, especially from, prevents the bursting of the plant. Many plants are aquatic, they live inside water, so water can enter the plant by osmosis. So, the size of the plant increases too much. But because of the presence of the cell wall, the plant cell does not burst. We have also another organelle. We have the vacuum. The vacuum is responsible for storing of water and nutrients. As you can see, those red arrows, they represent nutrients that come, that move inside and outside the vacuum. Okay, so it's like a barrier for storing and releasing uh, chemicals and nutrients. Other function for the vacuole is store color pigments. Not all the plants are green. Some plants they can have different uh, different colors. For example, here, if this a red pigment, because the plant, some certain plants they have red color. For example, they can be violet. They can be, for example, yellow. As you can see, the color is changing. So the colorful plants they carry their colors because of the color pigment stored inside the vacuole. This is regarding the ultrastructure of the plant cell. In the next lecture, we will be talking about special cells like bacteria and viruses.